Good evening, everyone. I'm Joe Torres. And I'm Sandra Bookman. The man accused of unleashing the deadliest attack on the Jewish community in the United States history is scheduled to stand before a judge tomorrow afternoon. 46-year-old Robert Bowers faces 29 charges that could lead to the death penalty. Investigators say Bowers targeted the Tree of Life congregation during Saturday's worship services and opened fire. 11 people were killed, six other people were injured, including four police officers. In the last few minutes, the Allegheny County Medical Examiner's Office released the official official cause of death for all the victims killed as homicide. ABC's Maggie Ruley reports from Pittsburgh. Joe and Sandra, this neighborhood is filled with quiet tree-lined streets. It's often described as charming. Now people say they're simply in shock. They feel numb and they're grappling with how they will ever move on. Thousands paying their respects. We will drive anti-Semitism and the hate of any people back to the basement. To the 11 victims murdered Saturday morning while attending service inside a synagogue. Targeted simply because of their religion. This is unbelievable. People have to stop the hate. Nance. Their names read one by one. 65-year-old uh, uh, Richard Godfrey, 59-year-old... Including Rosenthal, lifetime members, brothers David and Cecile Rosenthal, both with special needs. Cecile often a greeter when members arrived. You don't get a more innocent, harmless individual who doesn't have an ill bone in his body. The U.S. attorney in Pittsburgh now seeking approval for the death penalty against Robert Bowers. Seen here in this photo post on Gab, a site popular among alt-right activists and white nationalists. As the FBI begins to dissect his life, chilling details are emerging. The intro on his social media page reading, Jews are the children of Satan. We stand together as a community. A community that rejects hatred and violence. A horrific, senseless act that this community is still grappling to understand. As the nation mourns with Pittsburgh, the Steelers game paused for a moment of silence. And the lights dimmed on the Empire State Building. Only an orange beacon breaks through the darkness to draw attention to gun awareness. One thing that's been striking is just how diverse these vigils have been. The Jewish community has been there, but so have hundreds of others. And people keep telling us that while this was an attack on one faith, they will stand together as one. In Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Maggie Ruley, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.